What was the worst part of VidCon? Do you feel pressure to move to LA as your channel is growing? I was getting so frustrated. Who was the rudest YouTuber you met at VidCon? Oh, I have the answer. I don't know. I'm trying to decide how much tea I want to spill. Welcome back to my channel. So before we even get started, go ahead, look below. Look right now. See anything weird? I'll wait. We just hit 100,000 subscribers, which is insane and crazy and I can't even believe it and I don't I just I don't know I don't know what to say I don't know what to do but we just hit 100,000 subscribers which is crazy. The fact that 100,000 people at least has seen my face and took the time to subscribe to my channel is insane. Like that's insane. A hundred thousand people have seen my face. Like, I don't know, that's just so weird to even think about. So if you guys subscribe to me, first off, I just want to say thank you so much. I was laying in bed um, and a friend of mine sent me a screenshot of me hitting exactly 100,000 subscribers. How they were on my channel at the exact second I hit it, I have no idea. I don't know if they were watching it, I have no idea. But um, it was it was just such an amazing moment to be like, oh my gosh, like I hit such a big milestone. And even like my family was calling me and like my friends were calling me and like my DMs were blowing up. Everyone was like congratulations and it was the most amazing feeling so once again if you subscribe to me I just I want to say thank you so much for watching my videos and you know just taking the time to subscribe and watch my videos and support me and love me and I cannot thank you enough for that secondly I want to say I am in Los Angeles right now and I'm really excited. So I have about a half an hour before I actually have to go, but I wanted to sit down and I felt like this was the perfect time. This is my last full day in Los Angeles, so I thought that this would be a really great time to just sit down and really answer your guys' questions, whether it's about VidCon, about my life, whether it's about Los Angeles, whatever it may be. I thought that this would be a good time, so. Yeah, we're gonna just answer your guys' questions. Before we hop into this q and I did just wanna go ahead and let you guys know that today's video is actually sponsored by Audible. <laughs> So I've been using Audible for the last two or three months now, and if you guys follow me on my Instagram, you guys would know that, because I've been keeping you guys updated on what audiobook I have been listening to. Right now, I am listening to Girl, Stop Apologizing. It's just so motivational and inspiring, and those are the kind of audiobooks I like to listen to. But there is an offer I wanted to tell you guys about. It literally ends on July 31st, so you have just about a week to redeem it, but I wanted to let you know that Amazon Prime members can get Audible right now for three months at $4.99 cents a month and then after that it switches over to only $14.95 which is such a steal and like I said this offer ends on July 31st so you might want to act quick so if you guys do want to redeem this all you have to do is go to audible.com slash Courtney Rain or text Courtney Rain to 500 500 like I said all you have to do is go to audible.com slash Courtney Rain or you can text Courtney Rain to 500 500 and just for me because I'm always looking for another audiobook to listen to I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite audio book is because I just like I usually play an audiobook just while like I am like cleaning my room or whatever it is so I just like I fly through them like crazy so comment down below what your favorite audiobook is so that I can have some more recommendations and with that being said back to the Q&A first question we're gonna start off a little bit easy someone said what was your favorite part of VidCon 2019 honestly I would just say you guys like that was so cool um, there were these three girls that walked up to me the very first day of VidCon and they were like hi like can I get a picture with you and I was like what <laughs> like you want a picture with me like that's so weird not weird like actually weird but weird is in like that just doesn't happen to me not that many people actually walk up to me and say like hey like can I get a picture with you so I was like oh my gosh um, and I was just they were nervous I was nervous it was just like the coolest experience how has YouTube changed your life YouTube has changed my life dramatically especially like just in my confidence in the way that I present myself it's definitely just helped me in that way it also I don't get a whole lot of hate but when I do um, I think YouTube has really allowed me to have like a little bit of um, like tougher skin. When is your merch out? Soon, very, very soon. Do you ever lose motivation for YouTube? Honestly, no. <laughs> um, maybe like, maybe I'll need to take like three days off or something and then like I get right back on the grind. Did something embarrassing happen? I don't think so. I don't think anything embarrassing happened at VidCon. Do you have a boy best friend? I do. Overall, how was VidCon? 
Guys, like I can't even explain to you how much I loved it. Like being around all of the creators, it just makes you want to work 120 times harder, especially like when you think like your channel is doing good and you're like, oh my gosh, like I, you know, I'm killing it right now. Like you see someone that has like 500 million subscribers. Okay, that's an, that's an exaggeration. But like you might see someone who has 10 million subscribers and you're just like, oh my gosh. And like you just see all the businesses that they have and like how hard that they've worked for. It makes you want to work even harder. So VidCon was amazing. I got to go to these exclusive parties and whatnot and it was it was a blast can you do a house tour that video is coming up next I hope we'll see I need someone to help me but like look at this this is so pretty so I'm gonna try really hard how tall are you I am five foot six do you have a plan for the future or are you just going with the flow um I think it's a little bit of both like I have an idea of where I want to be but in the meantime, I feel like you just kind of have to go with the flow until you get close enough to it. Did something embarrassing or awkward happen to you at VidCon? I kind of already answered this question, um, but this one kind of mentioned awkward. I guess when you're standing by yourself, that's a little awkward. Also, ooh, T, I was getting so frustrated. And like, if you're one of those people, like, please don't take offense to this, but I was getting so frustrated on the amount of people who had creator badges, but weren't creators. That made me so frustrated because it's like you go down there and I had a creator badge so I wanted to hang out with creators so there's like community and then there's creator and then there's like featured creator and so I had the creator pass and it started to make me so mad because you walk up to someone who has the same badge as you and then you say like oh hey like what's your channel like blah 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 um, and they're like oh I don't have one and so then I'd be like okay like are you on TikTok are you on Instagram and they're like no and so then I'm like, why? And one person, I did say this, I was like, then why do you have a badge? And they were like, well, I just figured I could meet more people this way. Like that made me so frustrated. So VidCon, if you're watching this, which I strongly doubt that you are, I would love if you could actually pre-screen. So whenever you actually apply for the creator pass, you have to put in your YouTube or your Instagram or whatever it may be. I think they need to actually start looking at that because I was literally just getting so frustrated. Also, it was swarmed by TikTokers. Nothing wrong with that, but I wish that there was also a badge where it told you whether someone was an Instagram model or on TikTok or on YouTube, like whatever it may have been because like everywhere I turned there were TikTokers and I really didn't get to meet with a whole lot of YouTubers. Why have you stopped posting faith related videos? Um, I've kind of already touched upon this before, but I don't feel the need to to post a dedicated video about my faith. I like to include my faith in every single video that I do. Um, and you know, if something gets put on my heart that I'm supposed to talk about, I will talk about it. But as of right now, I just, you know, I'm living my life and I feel like you'll be able to get a sense of who I am and how Jesus has impacted my life in every single video, not just if I sat down and like had a dedicated video about it. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, but I just, I don't know. That's just not the content I wanna make. Do you feel pressure to move to LA as your channel is growing yes <laughs> so that's the thing is whenever you have a channel and you want to keep growing and growing and growing you almost need to move to LA and I know there's all these influencers right now because it's trendy to say like don't move to LA it's like such a bad place or 10 reasons why not to move to LA like that's such a trend right now but at the end of the day everyone is here so if you want to collab with people and you they're not in your neighborhood like for example there's no other youtubers in Pittsburgh so if you want to collab with other youtubers you either need to keep paying for flights back and forth and back and forth or you need to move. Or at least that's how I feel. Like that is that is the pressure that I feel. I feel like if I wanna collab with people, I have to be in LA. But I also love LA. So it's not like the end of the world. It's not like, oh, I have to move to LA. It's I want to, but also it's the place I need to be to grow my career. Once again, don't know if that makes sense. Do you like fan pages? Yes, literally yes. I think that they are the cutest thing and the most flattering thing in the world. Somebody said, when is your episode two of your YouTube series coming out? It actually just, like today, whoa. When I'm filming this today, when you guys are watching it, it was my last video. So I'll put a little eye somewhere here if you guys wanna check that out. Also, if you guys don't know what my YouTube series is, I do a series on my channel where I let YouTubers pick my outfit. So I write to a YouTuber, for example, or a celebrity. Um, I've done like David Henry, um, Natalia Taylor, and if I was gonna spill some tea and like let you guys know um, a little secret, I've also had Tila Dunn and a couple other YouTubers already, oh, and Ricky Dillon too, already do it. But basically they send me a video of them describing 
having some sort of an outfit and the whole video it challenges me to go out and hunt for an like the outfit that matches that description but it has to be modern and something that um, I would actually wear so that's kind of where the challenge comes into play and then I get like a professional photo taken and I show you guys like what I decided to get and what I paired it with like we've had some very weird requests so episode 3 should be coming out pretty soon how many subscribers do you want that is a very interesting question but I don't think I've ever been like I want this many subscribers what was the worst part of VidCon Ooh, we're getting into the T questions um, I kind of touched on this before, but I would say literally the fact that there were so many people walking around with a creator pass that didn't have like like didn't actually have channels. Another one was just, I don't know, everywhere you turn there were just like TikTokers like making TikToks. Well nothing wrong with that, but everywhere you turned you were in the back of somebody's TikTok video. So I'm sure you guys will be able to spot me in a lot of TikTokers videos. Who did you get to meet at VidCon? Ooh, good question. So I met so many people. I got to meet My Life is Ava, Remy Cruz. I also got to meet Bobby Mares. He's so nice. He's literally the nicest person ever. Cassie Diamond, Callista Aline, Ashley Wicca, Pippin Jordan. I hope I'm saying that right. I think I am. Oh gosh, who else did I meet? I got to meet... Like, I just got to meet so many people. Like, so, so many people. Who was the rudest YouTuber you met at VidCon? Oh! I have an answer. I don't know. I don't know if I want to say a name. I'm trying to decide how much tea I want to spill. Okay, I'm not going to say a name, but I will say... I'm gonna give you guys some clues and maybe you guys can figure out who it is, but no, it's just like, it, it wasn't that she said anything to me. It was the way, the look that she gave me and like just the way that she presented herself to me was very rude. It was very not welcoming. Like you could just tell she was like, why are you talking to me kind of a person. But I also feel like she was trying to feel out who I was. And I think that she saw that I had a creator pass and not a featured creator pass and realized that I probably wasn't someone who had like millions of followers. So it was just a really frustrating. So I walked up and I was really excited because I was like, oh my gosh. Like especially because I really want her to do, well, I wanted um, her to do um, one of my like YouTubers like decide my outfit video. And so when I walked up, I was like, hi, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, um, and I was like, yeah, it's so nice to meet you. Like I saw your panel, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like really excited. Um, and she just kind of gave me this like cold shoulder. And literally the whole time I just felt like she was trying to like feel me out on like trying to figure out like who I was, how many subscribers I had, if I could benefit her. And it was just like, she just gave me this like like instantly just talking to her, I just felt like she did not want to talk to me. She did not want to be there. She didn't, it was just, I was so frustrating. Okay, so I'm actually back. This is Future Courtney. So I was thinking back on my VidCon experience, right? Um, and I was like really just trying to think like, who really is the rudest YouTuber that I met while I was there? And I figured it out. So I thought it was this one girl who they gave me like the cold shoulder, but no, I had a worse experience. And I guess like my brain like blocked it out. Her name's like Everly something. Hold on, I'm gonna try to find it. Oh, okay. So her name is Emerly. So here's the scene. So I was standing next to Ashley and Pippin, um, who if you guys saw, they were who I hung out with the very first day of VidCon. But basically, I just had three fans walk up to me and say like, oh my gosh, like, I watch your videos. And I was just so excited. I was like, wait, what? I was like, and then they asked for a photo. And I got so excited because I was like, wait, you want a photo with me? Like, why? I don't know. I just got so excited. Um, and... Right and like as we were taking the photo I just kept, I was like I'm sweating like I was like I'm so excited because it's so humbling to have someone walk up to you and like see them face to face and then say like hey like I watch your videos like you inspire me or whatever it is like so the whole time I was like I was like oh my gosh I was like I'm so excited like and I was freaking out more than they were freaking out because I was like oh my gosh like you just walked up to me and I don't get that a whole lot like a lot of people don't walk up to me um so I was like wow like that's so awesome and then right after they left Emily walks up to me and goes, oh my god, I'm such a big fan. Can I get a picture? Just kidding. And then like walks away. And I was like, 
And so like you could tell like instantly as soon as she walked up I knew who she was like because I've seen her face before because she's been in drama or whatnot And I watch like the drama channels um, But so that was the first thing and so I knew her from that um, But also you could sense the sarcasm in her voice and like she was like this so she was like um, She walked up and she was like oh my god can I get a photo with you like I'm such a big fan Just kidding and like I was like And so me and like Ashley and Pippin we just like stood there and I was like ugh Okay. I don't know if I should blame the parents or if I should like give her grace because she is so young and maybe she'll grow out of it But I feel like when you have that much fame well, she doesn't even have that much fame But like when you have fame as a as a young person, I feel like it can get to you really fast I don't know, but it was just such a rude experience. I was like wow great first impression okay guys so that was about it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed um i still cannot believe that we were at 100,000 subscribers like to me that's so crazy like if you would have told me that a year ago when i had 1,000 subscribers that i would be here this is just insane so thank you again for every single person that has subscribed i actually guys i have to leave in five minutes so we made very good timing on this video um, i'm going to go meet up with calista to go film a collab and that will be up pretty soon hopefully i think this one's going to go up first and then that other one um so keep an eye out for that um it's going to be on her channel and on my channel it's going to be a back to school video so check that out um actually if you guys are watching this after the fact and the video's up i'll put the link i'll make it the very first link in the description if you want to check that out, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and the video here I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye